the lesser spotted stratus lies in wait for its prey. This species is commonly referred to for its affinity with traps, often created within the tundra from ice and snow. Here you can see the classic prey of a lesser spotted stratus, the Houston Outfool, falling into one of the traps. Only with the help of the pack will the trapped prey survive. Levo, no, no, not like this, son. It's like, you know what? I can stop this charge right here. Don't worry, Raw. I'll help. Perfection. <laughs> oh, and they got him. Who would have seen this coming? Wait, how do they trade? What the fuck? What happened to Mooma? Oh, wait. <laughs> It was at this moment, with 64 HP, that Mooma decided it's time to charge. Bask in his glory, you simpletons. <laughs> For you cannot comprehend the game at the same level, which Mooma can. May is here. Everyone is here. Everyone's here. Apart from Ark. Ark has to push car. See. What the fuck? What are you doing down here? How does this keep happening? Why is Jixi constantly on a different level to the rest of the outlaw? What? What? Like, there hasn't even been any chaos yet. These these guys have just fucking... They've walked from here to here. And somehow within within that space, without taking any fire, they have lost Jexy to the underground. Of course. The new meta, ladies and gentlemen. Submarine Lucio. Submarine Lucio is exactly what we've been looking for this entire time. Jexy is a pioneer, baby. Unstoppable. Did I just hear Raw charging? This is a very interesting uh, continuum of events from Justice. Even while we try and dissect Outlaws, this is a wonderful uh, fire strike and then using the Hulk. Boom. There's the fire strike. And uh, where's the Hulk? There's the Hulk. Just in time, boys. Just in time. And now with the Hulk being used, Hydration should be able to get a good wall here. Because you can hear him charging in. Towards a... If only there was some way that this Reinhardt could have overcommitted and we could have punished him for such using a Maywall. I guess we will never know! Where is that? Where do I hear her? Surely not. Surely fucking not. <laughs> no! No! Gamsu, is that you? It me! Hydration! Ice blocking again! <laughs> because like, oh cool, you baited out the Reinhardt Shatter. If only we could collaborate on some kind of assassination here. So he fucking, he yeets himself in from the back. You can see with this man, he's ascertained the target. The lock-on has been acquired. Mecho begins an engagement. These guys have a perfect crossfire. Hydration, meanwhile. I'm bored of this. I'm leaving. See you later. The classic, boys. We call this one... The Scooby-Doo Maneuver. Allow me to explain. <clears throat> it goes like this. We are a gang of four adventurers. We must figure out how to solve this puzzle. Now watch in real time as they split up and look for clues. And you can see here, there we go. Split up and look for clues. Perfectly executed. Wait, is Mooma climbing? Is this the play? <gasps> Boys, Houston Outlaws may be shit at Overwatch, but they are fucking great at parkour. And apparently vibrating in place, Moomer is currently generating a frequency to try and get inside Raw's head. The intimidation tactic is to vibrate at the exact frequency at which Raw's armor will resonate. Intimidation beyond the realms of men. Only a supernatural being such as Moomer can facilitate this manner of technique. <laughs> what? I was like, oh god, they made the tank disengage. It's gonna be a big fucking slam. Let's see it in the cinematic view. <laughs> Give it to me slow. Give it to me slow. Show me the alpha tank. He does actually get raucous. I'll give him that. Slap. <laughs> but what? You cannot be serious. You held that for two minutes to- What? What? Okay, give it to me slow. So, the Maywall is up. Now is the moment. 
Are we gonna put the hydration may wall down to try and get the slam on multiple people? As you can see, Justice see this coming. They're like, this dumbass is about to try this. So you know what? Let's fucking jump, dude. Let's have jump. And then Ark's in the back. Gets a little bit of a boop. So Moomer's like, I could slam Ark. I could slam the Lucia. But you know what? No. A real brain, a real Chad, would slam the Junker Queen's throne. And so... They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. The greatest tank in the world, everybody. What? Boys, we have discovered a new technique straight from the minds of the dwarves of Midgard. The bait shield. You see, in the minds of a simple player such as a Houston outlaw, you will roll out of the door, look to the left, there's a shield there. But why is there a shield there? Why is there a shield here? Surely, someone must be hiding around here. But no! There's actually no one. It's a distraction shield. This is little shit like this that got early vote picked up. Okay, the nano. I particularly love the combination here of the nano on Muma without the speed boost and then Mecho knocking them away from a nano Reinhardt. This this is what we call an epic gamer move. <laughs> no. No. No, 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 no. No. I refuse to believe that this is about to happen. In the year of our Lord 2020, looking up against Double Shield, he sees that Roar is stunned. He is against a May and an Orissa. In Moomer's mind, think of the calculations, the true mathematics, the geometry, whirling around. He squeezes every last neuron, wringing out the brain juice. Collects all that brain juice in a little cup. Takes a sip. The vision that he's granted, it's time to shatter, baby. What the fuck? Moomer just got giga cucked. Mumo just became the top fucking hit on Pornhub's cupped playlist. Look at this shit. Frozen in a corner. Gets pushed out of the way by Hydration's ice block. <laughs> <laughs> and that causes him to be bounced away by the charge. First, it starts with Corey jumping out of a window to gain some aggro. He communicates that Mecha was used for boosters. This allows Aim God to make a crossing with only Raucus to damage him. The outlaws miscommunicate the location of Aim God and send Mecha on a wild goose chase. This is a crucial part of the plan. It is at this point that, like a Metal Gear Solid henchman, they forget that they actually have to deal with the Longana and return to their patrol routes. None the wiser. Jexy unleashes the beat. It is applied to five members of the Houston Outlaws. As you can see, Blase is helping. Meanwhile, where the fight is happening, Hydration attempts the blizzard, but tragedy strikes. You can almost see the tears in the eyes of Hydration. As poor Snowball, the best friend who stuck it out through Eco Point Antarctica, who sacrificed their battery life to save May from dying within the wilderness, disappears into the ether. And why not? When using your self-destruct, and your Earth Shatter. In the corner here, Blase feels that it must be time to use the Dead Eye. 60 seconds remaining. Oh. <laughs> the young cub Blase, still unable to get his first kill, slinks away in shame. The Nano is applied. He misses the point blank fire strike with banana. Now this, ladies and gentlemen, is how to play Reinhardt. Watch closely as you see Moomer give a warning shot, as is necessitated by his contract. The warning shot alongside Raw, making sure that Raw knew there was danger afoot. Now, with legal notice given as to the danger, Moomer can proceed 
to use his nano boost. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. 